Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In recent developments, an intriguing situation has emerged involving K2 Company, a prominent insurance firm with a specialization in risk management for financial institutions. The firm has been actively engaged in discussions and studies concerning the potential economic reforms in Iraq, particularly focusing on the concept of dropping the zeros from the currency. This move has sparked considerable interest and speculation within financial circles. To understand the significance of this, it's crucial to first grasp what dropping the zeros means. In the context of currency, it refers to the process of removing zeros from a currency's nominal value to simplify transactions and restore confidence in the currency. This is often done in response to hyperinflation or severe devaluation. For Iraq, which has faced its share of economic challenges, this could be a pivotal reform aimed at stabilizing the currency and enhancing its value on the international stage. What makes K2 Company's involvement particularly noteworthy is its role as an insurance provider for banks. The company's expertise lies in managing risks associated with financial operations, including those related to currency fluctuations and economic instability. Given this background, K2's focus on the dropping of the zeros suggests a deeper engagement with the potential risks and benefits associated with this reform. Frank, a key figure in financial analysis and commentary, has highlighted the implications of K2's involvement. According to Frank, K2's discussions about lifting the three zeros from the Iraqi dinar are not just routine. The timing of these discussions indicates a strategic alignment with broader economic reforms. Since K2 is deeply entrenched in risk management for banks, their interest in the currency reform process underscores the significance of these discussions. The idea of removing zeros from a currency is not new. Many countries have undertaken similar measures in the past to address hyperinflation or restore economic stability. However, the process is complex and requires careful planning and execution. It involves not only adjusting the currency, but also addressing underlying economic factors, such as inflation rates, monetary policies, and international trade dynamics. For K2 Company, engaging in this discussion is not merely about assessing risks, but also about positioning themselves as a key player in managing the potential impacts of such a significant reform. The firm's expertise in insurance and risk management provides them with a unique vantage point to evaluate the implications of currency adjustments on the banking sector and the broader economy. In essence, the fact that K2 is talking about the lifting of the three zeros suggests that they are preparing for potential shifts in the financial landscape. This could involve developing strategies to mitigate risks associated with currency fluctuations 